Just as farmers wrap up this year's planting season, some took a hit from Mother Nature last night. Channel 8's Ariana Martinez spoke with area farmers about how much damage they're seeing and what that means for them. Ariana? Yeah, I spent the time with a farmer out in Waverly today where some crops were hit harder than others. He talked about it really being a gamble and it truly depends on how much growth each crop had before lots of rain, wind and hell. There's a uh, good chance of the taller corn that, that got shredded up will be hurt real bad. Tom Peterson grows both corn and soybeans near Waverly. Some of the fields are going to be gone, uh, ruined, and, and some of them are going to be set back hard. Peterson said he spoke with a few neighbors in the area and some were hit a little harder than others. Some guys are going to go in and try to replant right away. Uh, some guys are going to wait, take a wait and see, and some guys are probably just going to just say, no, I, I'm going to have to rely on some insurance to get me through this year on this. Peterson is going to wait and see on some of his crops, but waiting is also a gamble. Seven to ten days is going to put you to the end of June. All of a sudden you're getting kind of the end of your window to try to plant anything corn-wise. Another struggle for farmers is finding the seed to replant crops. Uh, finding the uh, re replant seed is difficult. A lot of times this time of year uh, it's been used in, you know, already for uh, some guys had already replanted some soybeans because we had a little late frost or late, late almost freeze. This season has not been easy for farmers. With the drought, some wildfires, and now extreme weather, some in our area will have to rely on their insurance to make it through the season. It doesn't give you your your top end goal, it, but they take a portion of what you normally raise over an average of years and then they'll uh, they'll help make up some of that difference. So it's it's not a way to make a living, but it's to help you survive. Even though we got a nice rain last night, farmers are hoping for a few more to get through the summer. Down deep underneath the ground where the roots go, uh, it's a little bit too dry. And it doesn't have a deep soil moisture to be able to feed that crop over the summer by itself. So we're going to have to continue to get good rains throughout the summer. And Peterson told me today, if farming was easy, everybody would do it. So I just wanted to take this time to thank our Nebraska farmers. Absolutely.